When we click on the edit icon, the edit button for our profile page, we're taken to edit profile. So we want to add the functionality to edit our own profile. So we'll go to pages folder and to edit profile. So first we want to make a request in edit profile for our auth user data. We want to get the authenticated users user data. So we'll need to make another get request in our component did mount and we'll call the function that we'll use to make this request get auth user and we'll create this in our API file. So get auth user will be async and it'll take the auth user ID and it'll look pretty similar to delete user. The only difference being we're going to use a get request with Axios but it'll be to the same endpoint. So we'll also need the user data which we're getting from props since we're calling auth initial props. So we'll destructure auth from this dot props here within component did mount. We can say auth user dot id and within then we'll get our user data returned to us where we can call set state to put our user data in state. But this is going to look a bit different. We're going to use the object spread to spread our user object into state so the user will be split up into individual properties instead of just as a single property and when the user is added to state the only thing that we're going to need from it the only things that we're going to need are the user's ID, their name, email, about, and their avatar. All the other things we won't need and if we run into any errors in getting this data and pass through the error to a console.error. And once again, this is going to take some time to resolve. So we'll keep track of the loading state with is loading. And we'll set that initially to true. So when we call set state in the then, we can say is loading is false. And same for in our catch. So now let's uncomment all of the stuff that we're importing and create our markup. But before we do that, let's just destructure the things that we need in render. We're going to need classes from this.props. We're going to need name, email, avatar, about, and is loading from state. So now we can remove that div that we had, replace it with a div, and it'll have a class name classes.root then a paper component and it will have a class name of classes.paper then paper begin with an avatar which is going to contain an icon so I'll have the class name of classes.avatar the icon will be edit sharp. Then we'll have a title within typography. So this will be a variant H5, the component itself H1, and the text here will be edit profile. So underneath this title, we're going to have our edit profile form. So we'll start with some form tags and on the form we'll give it a class name of classes.form. We'll say if we're loading we're going to display a icon within the avatar component. So this will have the class name classes.bigavatar and the icon itself will be face to tone and then if we have the link to the avatar itself we can display it by setting source to avatar and the class name for this will be exactly the same classes dot big avatar and then underneath this conditional we're going to add an input that will allow us to update our avatar so it'll be of type file 
the name will be avatar ID avatar it's going to accept only image files so we can say image slash and then anything our on change will reference this dot handle change which will create and we're gonna use a class of classes dot input in order to hide this input and instead use a button which we'll create within this label we'll reference it with HTML4 we're gonna, going to reference our avatar with this so since our input has the same name of avatar we can use a button component the variant of contained color will be secondary and the component will be a span the text within this button will be upload image and the icon to the right of it will be cloud upload so we'll click on this button in order to actually upload our image it will have the functionality of this input and if we upload a new image we can preview the name of this the name of this image so we'll create a span for the class of classes dot file name and we can say if we have an avatar we can get its name with avatar dot name then we'll have a form control with a margin of normal it'll be required and it'll take up the full width so within it we'll have an input label and it'll be for the name input the text name then we'll have the input itself it'll be of type text the name will be name the value will be the name that we're getting from state and the on change will be this dot handle change. So we can copy this entire form control and paste it in a couple of times underneath. We'll have one form control for our about, which won't be required. So the HTML4 will be for about, text about, type, text, name, about, value, about as well then a form control which will be required so will be for our email text email type email name of the input is email and value email then underneath this form control we'll have a submit button so the type of this button will be submit it'll be full width We'll disable it when we're loading. The variant will be contained, color, primary, and the class name, classes dot. Submit, and we'll give it the text, save. OK, so we're making sure that we're bringing in get auth user from our lib folder from lib slash API so then we can save and on our label we can add the label for avatar we can add a class name of classes dot upload button so now we're getting the auth user data we're getting their default avatar image and we're populating their name and email in the edit profile form and if we click on upload image we'll be able to select an image file hit open and we'll soon be able to put that image that we selected in state in order to change our profile data when we hit save <laughs>